All right, guys. Now, as you remember, on one of my last videos, I put in the oil catch can. So today, I'm going to be showing you how much oil did the catch can catch. So, what I really like about this one <clears throat> is you can take off this little, you can take this little dipstick out right here, and you can measure how much oil is in it. But I'm going to take the bottom of it off. And I'm going to pour it into a bottle and show you how much oil it actually catched. Alright, now I went ahead and drained this out. And this is what we got, guys. And I looked for a plastic bottle, but I couldn't find one. So I got me a little Corona bottle here. And you can see how much oil is in there. And that's only after 2,000 miles. So that right there tells me that this oil catch can is working. So imagine if you went 3, 4, 5,000, even 8,000 miles. And some people even go 10,000 miles before they change their oil. And this is what it caught in 2,000 miles. Because I didn't change the oil before I put this on. It was already about 1,000 miles in. So this is 3,000 mile oil right here you're looking at. Maybe a little bit over. By a few miles but you're looking at 3,000 mile oil here still decent oil um, I really love this stuff here and I talked about it in my last video this cash draw GTX Magnatech and I use these mobile one extended performance oil filters what I really like about this stuff is it is true it is instant protection from from the start and it's six time better wear protection it helps combat sludge. Um, it's great because it actually leaves a nice, good, thick film um, on all your parts. So whenever your oil drains, after you shut off your engine, the top part of your engine still has a nice, good, thick lubricant on it that's going to keep it from wearing, which is why it's got a six time better wear protection because it has what they call intelligent molecules, because that's what they call it. And it clings to the metal, hence the Magnatech. And uh, I recommend this oil to anybody and everybody. And I've had awesome luck with it. And it actually improved my fuel mileage. I gained an extra 4 miles per gallon after I switched to this oil. So I'm getting about 34 miles per gallon from 30. And again, I use these Mobile One oil filters. It's the oil filters they recommend that can last up to 20,000 miles. And they're high efficiency, high capacity oil filters. They work absolutely amazing. I recommend these or even the Wix oil filters. If you're somebody that uses Fram oil filters, I highly suggest you stay away from them and use these good oil filters. Now, if you guys didn't watch the video of me doing the install of this, here's your PCV valve. And normally there's a hose that goes from here to your intake. So what we've done is we've put a hose on the PCV valve. And I ran it underneath here over to the oil catch can. Then the airflow comes back out of the oil catch can back to the intake. So therefore the oil that comes through the PCV valve whenever it gets blow by gets trapped inside of this oil catch can. All car engines are going to do this, especially these older ones. And the main reason why you want to put an oil catch can on an engine like this is because of the way the valves are set up and the injectors. So, in theory, whenever the gas injects inside of there, it's going to burn up, it's going to hit the valves in there, and it's going to help clean them. Unless you've got a side that that gas never touches, in which case this engine has. So in these modern day engines, they're designed to efficiently actually eat away the oil buildup. Even though I still recommend putting a oil catch can on them because it will help catch the oil and it will help keep your engine cleaner. So hence the reason why I put this oil catch can on here and you guys saw how much oil it caught. And that was only after 2000 miles. So these things will help you keep your engine a lot cleaner and you can run things like Marble Mystery Oil, 
through your engine but again it's only going to do so much because it's only going to go in the area of which the gasoline is being sprayed from the injectors so putting one of these in there will help tremendously so i'll be doing a video hopefully here soon on marble mist oil and i put marble mist oil in my engine uh usually about every two to three oil changes I will put some Marble Mister oil in here for about 200 miles before I change the oil. And it helps clean all the sludge and gunk inside the engine. But with this nice oil that I'm using here, I'm not worried about any more sludge buildup because I've got it all cleaned out. And this will help also combat that sludge buildup. So I don't have to really worry about that, but it's a good maintenance to do. But the better oil you use, the less maintenance you're going to have to do on your engines. All right, now say you've got an old worn out engine. You can put this Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer in there and it'll help quiet down your engine and it'll actually help uh, condition the oil a little bit better. You can go a little bit longer with your oil changes. Um, and I think it's really good stuff. You know, um, I've never had any issues with it. Now if you get a car that's leaking oil or you have uh, burning, inside of it you know so it's blowing out smoke uh, oil burning in it get this engine oil stop leak by Lucas and it works okay it really does work guys because I've used it before not on this car but on my other car when I first got it started it up and it smoked a little bit and I was like you know what it's cool whatever I'll take it back if I got to rebuild the engine in it I will but I didn't have to. I actually put this stuff in it and I ran it for two oil changes at 3,000 miles a piece and I have yet to actually put it back in since and I haven't had any oil burning. I haven't had any problems with loss of oil, any of it. So this stuff really did work and I didn't have to keep using it. So if you get to something early enough, this stuff will help swell the seals back up and it'll help. Now, if you got an engine that's losing tons and tons of oil, start with this oil stabilizer first, see how it goes. I don't recommend using it in harsh temperatures. So anything probably below 20 degrees, I don't recommend using this stuff because it's gonna to be too thick. Now, the oil that I'm using, it's thin enough that it will flow properly in the cold. You put this stuff in there and it's going to thicken up so you're going to have a lot harder starts and if you're using um a 10w30 or 10w40 15w40 engine oil and you put this stuff in there it's going to thicken it up so much more that you're almost running like a 20 weight oil and starting it up in the cold is going to be an issue so they do sell a synthetic one that I could run in here all the time and it's nice and thin but I don't need to run it because I'm using a good quality engine oil but just keep these in mind if you ever have any issues with your engines always use this stuff okay there's a lot of other stuff on the market and this stuff is the best it really is when it comes to engine oil products but on these particular engines and I've done a video on doing the valve cover gasket and the spark plug well seals so if you're starting to lose a lot of oil but you don't really notice a drip underneath the car come out to your car and start pulling up your spark plug boots and if you see oil on those then you got a problem that means your valve cover gasket might not be leaking but the seals underneath it are So that will actually flood the spark plug boots with oil. And when that happens, you can get fouled out plugs and create a lot of issues. So just replace your valve cover gasket and your spark plug well seals. And I have a video on that as well. So you guys can check that out and see what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys have installed an oil catch can on your car, go ahead and drop a comment down below 
Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what kind of oil you guys are running, okay? If you are new here, please subscribe. I'll have more videos to come with more information to share. And again, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.